606 now, they are pesky. They are annoying. I think you know what I'm talking about. Mosquitoes and fleas. And all the rain that we have gotten has brought with it these majorly flying annoyances, possibly carrying disease and definitely disrupting just about anything that we want to do outside. Remember, one man's already died from West Nile that he got from a mosquito bite here in New Mexico. So News 13's David Romero now live in downtown Albuquerque. So David, what in the world's going on with these bugs? Matt, the rains have brought a lot of them to the metro area. And of course, we're out at one of those peak times when they are out and attacking people. And that's the early morning hours and, of course, throughout the day and in the evening uh, dusk hours. But of course, this is something a good time for us to pass along some precautions to tell people, hey, here's a good way to make sure that they don't stick around or get around your home. Now, the city environmental health department says they have seen a dramatic increase in mosquitoes since the rains came in about mid July. Now, the city has about 18 different collection sites in the metro area. So far, each has shown a significant increase in the mosquito population. Now, those are monitored weekly. And as part of that monitoring, the city checks for signs that the mosquitoes may be carrying things like West Nile virus. Luckily, so far, they have seen or rather have not seen any of that show up in the area. But the health department also says it's only a matter of time before it does. So here are some things you can do to help protect yourself and your family. Around the home, we want to eliminate any type of habitat that might be there for mosquito development. So, you know, flower pots that are holding water, empty buckets, even pet dishes. And of course, if you have a home that does have a standing water part of the yard of the landscaping, rather that means a pond or a fountain, here's a way that you can use that water to kind of help rid some of the mosquitoes in your area. The city has about three different locations around town where they offer a little fish called the gambuzi. That little fish likes to eat the larvae and the mosquitoes. So if you can get them for free, put them in the pond, you will eliminate the mosquitoes being around your house and that fixture in your property. Matt, back to you. Okay, good advice there, David. Thank you. Watch for the bugs out there. There are also more fleas. Watch out for them for you, particularly your pets. Don't forget, more rain means more vegetation. That means more rodents. And yes, more of those flying pests. However, on the flip side, we definitely need the rain. So just deal with the bugs.